Concrete 5.7 lets you manage a website in multiple languages. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. Uh, first thing you need to know is with Concrete 5, we uh, let you deal with each language as its own tree. Right? One way to, to approach the problem would be saying each block gets translated to every language and every language shares the same sitemap, uh, which sounds really good when you're first kind of specking a project with a client. But in our experience, once you actually start building things, you start to realize that each language kind of has its own exceptions. Um, you know, German has really long words, so the nav has to change, and China's press room is different than the U.S. one, and each language is really its own beast. So the way we deal with that is we're going to come into the sitemap, and instead of just having home and your uh, first level pages under it, we're going to make nodes for each language. So I'm going to add a page... For English, just make it an empty page. I like making the URL slug short. And we'll add a page for um, Klingon. Okay, so now I've got these two container pages. And I actually need to um, move all my first level pages into English. I'll make this a little bit easier on myself. And just plop services in there, move it, and um, so on and so forth through my first level. Now this will move all of the children pages with it, so it's not as bad as it seems at a glance. I'm also just going to delete this blank page. I don't know what that's doing there. Okay, so now we've got our whole English tree in English, and we've got nothing in Klingon. And if I come view this English page, uh, you'll see there's actually nothing on this. So we're going to have to go uh, take the blocks off of the home page and move them here uh, by hand, which is uh, a little tedious, but shouldn't take very long. Um, for the sake of this demo, uh, let's just put a content block in here so we can know when we're here. This is the English home. Great. All right, so the next step is to turn on the uh, multilingual stuff. So I'm going to go to the intelligent search box and type multilingual get, uh, right here with multilingual. And I'm taken to the multilingual setup page. So what we have to do is define uh, locales and languages. So Concrete 5 knows which parts of the tree are which language, and then it can do some handy stuff to let us jump between uh, related pages in different languages. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, first, let's go ahead and define English. We'll pick that English page. Um, we'll say in the language that it is English. And we're going to call that United States English. So you can start to do locale stuff if you want to have uh, you know, different uh, uh, languages for different locales like uh, 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 South American Spanish and Spanish Spanish. Uh, so we're going to add that content section. All right, and so now the site knows that, okay, English is uh, at that path EN. And we'll do another one. We'll say Klingon. And we'll pick the language. In here somewhere. There we go. And there is no country of Klingon, so we'll just, I don't know, map it somewhere. Uh, Canada. Those folks are good natured, they won't mind. Uh, we'll add that content section. All right, so now uh, this install th realizes it's got two different languages one is English, one is Klingon. It knows the path uh, to where it sh each should be. And the problem that we're faced with is, well, we, we have an English tree, but we don't have a, a Klingonese tree yet. So there's this cool copy locale tree that we can use, where we say, look, I want to copy from English to Klingon and copy the tree. And that's going to go through our whole site, uh, copy all of the pages out. And now if I come back to the sitemap, you'll see we've got two sets of, of the site. Um, 
if I go to this English home, we need to change a few things. So first thing that we're going to do is this nav no longer works the way we want it to. So I'm going to put the page in edit mode, edit the main nav. Now this is in a global area, so when we change it, it'll change everywhere. And instead of beginning the auto nav at the top level of the tree, uh, which is home and gives us this, we're going to begin it at the second. And that's all we need to do there. You can see now that looks the same as it did before. We're in English Home and we have the English sub pages under it. The other thing we're going to want to do is add this special switch language block. And I'll just throw it above the search area here. Um, you can choose the label. And you can see, okay, now that gives us a little drop down to choose what language we're looking at. I'll go ahead and publish these changes and show you couple of things that are different. So first off, you may notice this little flag up here. As I jump around the English site, this stays English and lets me know I'm looking at the English version. And if I pull it out, it tells me I'm currently viewing services in English. It's mapped to this uh, Canadian Klingon services page, which I could jump to and start to translate into uh, uh, Canadian Klingon. Um, so pop this in edit mode and um, you know, there you go. Additionally, so that's for admins. Additionally, you see we added that block. Uh, and so anyone visiting the site can see, well, look, I'm on this services page. I'm in Klingon. I'm jump over to English. There we go. No more Klingon. If we come back into the multilingual uh, area, there's one other tool I want to show you in this demo. Um, you can set the default locale. Uh, so when people first come to the site, instead of being dumped at that uh, kind of home container page that we don't want them at, it'll actually redirect them to uh, a specific language. And Concrete 5 will even try to detect um, where you should send them based on uh, browser information. So we're going to go ahead and set both of those up uh, and that way people uh, will go to the right spot. And there's this cool page report interface as well. So um, as you add pages to your site uh, in different languages, you're going to want to be able to map them across. So you know, if I had a press release in English, uh, how does the Canadian Klingon team know that they need to add it as well? This page report gives you a high level view of what is different between uh, the two trees. So let's quickly show how that would work. If I come into the sitemap and I add a page to English, let's publish that real quick, and I come back to multilingual and go to the page report. You can see, I've chosen the source language as English. I want to see it against Klingon. So if you've got multiple languages, you can kind of map these uh, more complicated. And you can see down here, it's showing, look, I've got this English page, but I don't have it in Klingon yet. So I can create the page, which will automatically just make a copy of it, put it over in the tree, and, uh, and you're good to go. Um, I can map it to an existing page. So maybe the Canadian Klingon team is already writing it, and there's just no relationship between them. Uh, and you just need this relationship so that little uh, drop down lets you jump to the right page between them. Uh, or I can ignore it. Say, look, we're never going to add this, this page to the Klingon tree. It just doesn't apply to what they're doing. And I don't want it to show up in this report. So I'll ignore it. Uh, and that lets you kind of manage what's going on uh, across different languages as a, as a central site admin. Um, the last bit that you should check out but beyond this video is the translate site interface. Um, this will actually go through your template files, your block files, uh, everything on the back end, and look for any strings that are wrapped in a uh, T function. And that T function lets you translate those strings in this interface. So, um, you know, parts that you're building into your application can really be translated here as well. And that is how uh, multilingual in Concrete 5.7 works.